Helsinki, the capital of Finland, is the country's largest city and filled with things to do for visitors. It sits on a granite peninsula on the north coast of the Gulf of Finland, facing the Baltic Sea. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 attractions and things to do in Helsinki. And just wait till you see what's at number 2, something you may not even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So without further ado, let's cut to the chase. At 10, the National Museum of Finland. The National Museum of Finland was built in 1912 in a national romantic style. Well, as you do, Finland's own take on the Art Nouveau movement that was popular in Europe at the time. This style is especially appropriate for a museum whose purpose is to collect and interpret material on the culture and ethnography of Finland. Of note is a Finno-Ugrian collection with traditional costumes and everyday cultural objects. The prehistoric section is the largest permanent collection of archaeological materials in the country. Various displays also document the development of Finland from the Middle Ages through the Swedish and Russian empires and into a modern state. The entrance hall is decorated with fabulous ceiling frescoes inspired by the Kalevala, a national myth of Finland. The frescoes were painted by Akseli Galan Kalela, perhaps Finland's best-known artist. Opposite the National Museum, in a park, is the Municipal Museum. Next up at 9, Korkiasari Zoo. Founded in the 1880s, Korkiasari Zoo is one of the oldest in the world and holds a foremost place for its exceptional breeding programs for endangered species. They have been especially successful with breeding snow leopards and other big cats such as the Amur and Siberian tiger. How do you breed a tiger? As in any good zoo, the environments have been designed to be as close as possible to natural habitats and nearly 1,000 plant species grow here to replicate the native environments of the 150 different animal species. Just a little bit colder. The zoo is open all year round and visiting the tropical houses is one of the favourite things to do in Helsinki in the winter. The zoo is on an island and you can get here by ferry from May to the end of September. The rest of the year you can get here by bus. Next up at 8, Finlandia Hall. North of the Municipal Museum in Helsinki, on the shores of Tulu Bay, is the Finlandia Hall, a concert and convention hall designed by Alvar Aalto and built in 1971 with a white facade of Carrara marble. The marble is also used on the inside of the structure. Details appear in hardwoods and ceramics. The main concert auditorium is a stunning sight and is famous for its acoustics. Another standout feature is the wide Venetian staircase that leads from the ground floor to both the main auditorium and chamber music hall. The final act of the Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe was signed here in July 1975. To the north of the hall is an excellent park, home to large chessboards and chess pieces. And beyond this again is the new Finnish National Opera House, inaugurated in November 1993 with a performance of the opera Kolervo by the Finnish composer Aulis Salinen. Check the website for frequent updates on events, prices and openings. At 7, Helsinki Railway Station. Helsinki's strikingly original Art Nouveau railway station was designed by Eliel Saarinen and is especially notable for American tourists because its 48-metre-high clock tower was the first of several designs that finally resulted in Saarinen's 1922 Chicago Tribune Tower, America's first skyscraper. The exterior of the station is made of local granite, featuring an immense archway over the entrance, which is flanked by two giant statues on each side. The figures each hold globes that illuminate the facade at night, making a striking landmark. Inside, visitors will find towering arched halls and surprisingly delicate carved panels that decorate the walls. And believe it or not, there might even be some trains running. Add 6. Museum of Contemporary Art in a land renowned for its cutting-edge native architects, it's ironic that the building considered one of Finland's landmarks of modern architecture was designed by the American architect Stephen Hall. 
The curvy exterior continues inside, creating exhibit spaces uniquely fitting for displaying contemporary works of art. Along with its collections of post-1960s Finnish art, the museum has a theatre dedicated to experimental drama, music and dance. A cafe and shop are located on the premises. Visitors also have the option to take a public or private guided tour of the museum that includes information on the works, the artists and the museum building. At 5. Linnanmaki Amusement Park To the east of the Olympic Stadium in Helsinki, beyond the railroad line, is the Linnanmaki Amusement Park. In operation since 1950, it's a favourite family outing for locals and tourists alike. The park offers a great range of rides for all ages, as well as live entertainment, games and plenty of places to get meals and snacks. There is a good selection of rides for the youngest visitors, including a kiddie train, little trucks on a track, a pirate ship, a little kid's carousel, a playhouse and even a kiddie roller coaster. Rides for bigger kids, including a fun house, spinning coffee cups, a haunted hotel, bumper cars and a raft ride. The park is also home to over half a dozen thrilling roller coasters and several attractions that offer splendid views of Helsinki and town of Linnanmaki, including the 53-metre observation tower and a large ferris wheel. Visitors can also enjoy the view from atop the 60-metre rocket and the 75-metre freefall tower, at least until the rides drop. Hmm, I think I'd rather go for a coffee if you don't mind. At 4. Experience traditional Finnish culture at Surasari Open Air Museum. East of Helsinki city centre is the island of Surasari, linked with the mainland by a footbridge. Here you'll find the excellent Surasari Open Air Museum with its many old houses, farmsteads, a manor house, a church from Kiruna that dates back to 1686, and other timber buildings that have been brought here from all parts of Finland. This is the place to learn how Finns lived long ago, before the modern era. Nearby, at Mailati 7, is an old timber house now occupied by the Friends of Finnish Handicrafts, with an exhibition of rye carpets and other traditional textiles. Visitors can watch the weavers at work, and the on-site shop sells examples of their handiwork. Guided tours are available, and afterwards stop at the attraction's cafe and restaurant for a bite to eat. The island is also home to a popular public beach, so bring your swimsuit. Are you sure it's not going to be too cold? At 3, Tempelialko Rock Church. North of Helsinki's Hayaterniami area, along Frederick Cantu, is Helsinki's Rock Church. No, they mean rock as in part of a mountain, not rock music. Designed by Timo and Tuomo Sumalainen in the late 1960s, the underground interior of the church was carved out of and built directly into the ancient solid rock of the Helsinki Peninsula. The inside of the church is bathed in a glorious natural light that enters through the glazed dome. It has a shallow circular dome 13 meters high of copper sheeting and glass borne on concrete ribs. The church is also used as a concert hall due to its excellent acoustics created by the rough, unworked rock surfaces of the interior. Guided tours are available and if visiting in summer, be sure to visit the on-site cafe for a unique dining experience. And now at 2, shop in Helsinki's Market Square. The Market Square is the main planned and paved square in central Helsinki and is one of the best known outdoor markets in northern Europe. Bordering the Baltic Sea at the eastern end of the Esplanade, it is full of stands selling Finnish foods, flowers and tourist souvenirs. There are often even fishing boats lined up in the water selling seafood directly from the boat. In the winter, market stalls are protected under tents and there is a year-round market hall with more vendors. Visitors should watch their food carefully, however, as the seagulls at the market are large and brazen and will pluck food from unsuspecting diners. Tell me about it. And finally, at one, take a boat at the fortress of Sviborg and the Suomenlina Islands. The fortified islands of Suomenlina are an integral part of Helsinki. While they may at first seem remote, they are in fact easy to reach by 20-minute ferry ride, using the same ticket as for buses and trams. The fortress of Sviborg itself, which literally translates as Swedish castle, dominates the island. It was built in the mid-18th century to bar Russian access to the Baltic. 
During the Swedish-Russian War of 1808 and 1809, it fell to the Russians, who thereafter enlarged and strengthened it. In 1918, it passed into Finnish hands and was given the Finnish name of Suomenlinna, Finnish castle. During the 1950s and 1960s, it was handed over by the military to the civilian authorities and since then has been restored and converted for cultural and recreational use. It is now included in UNESCO's list of World Heritage Monuments and is a museum, a park and an arts venue. The area is open most of the year, but hours and ferry access vary, so be sure to visit the website for the latest information. And there you have the top 10 rated attractions and things to do in Helsinki. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. That's all for now. Until next time.